Following a story you saw first on WPRI.com, a Newport police officer stabbed in the back and in the hand. It happened late last night at an apartment complex as police had been clearing away people suspected of trespassing. Today, a teenager is being held at the training school suspected of the violent attack on that officer. And we're getting the latest on those charges. Let's go live to Eyewitness News reporter Danielle Norris. She joins us now from the Mobile Newsroom. Patrick, that 20-year veteran community police officer here in Newport is recovering at Rhode Island Hospital this noon time from those two stab wounds. Now, police tell us here at this apartment complex last night, what started as a simple encounter for possible suspicious activity, quickly escalated into a violent struggle. Newport police say Officer Anthony Chip Piermont was working a paid detail on Thursday night wearing plain clothes when he and another officer approached two suspicious juveniles at the Festival Field apartment complex. Just before 8 o'clock, police tell Eyewitness News the juveniles fled in two different directions and the officers had to split up to chase down the teen suspects. And on his way back to their cruiser, um, he saw the 16-year-old hiding behind a bush. He yelled at him to come out. The juvenile didn't come out, so he went in to get him. Newport police say during that struggle, Officer Piermont was stabbed with a pocket knife in the hand and in the back. Eyewitnesses on the scene were troubled by the violent struggle. I saw them all flying down Broadway, coming out this way. It's just... Once I found out it was an officer, I kind of broke my heart. Newport police also tell Eyewitness News while the officer was in plain clothes, it is protocol for police to take several critical steps in identifying themselves while on the job. We identify ourselves as police officers. Newport police stop. It's very clear. We have badges that we display. We're not leaving it up to chance. Now, we've learned that the 16-year-old suspect was arraigned on one felony assault charge at uh, family court in Providence. The other teen suspect was also arraigned, and both are being held at the training school. Now, Officer Piermont is still at Rhode Island Hospital, but he is expected to make a full recovery. We're live from Newport with the Mobile Newsroom. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.